Welcome back to the earliest reviews. Today's review is focused on Wu Tang and American Saga, season two, episode four, entitled Pioneer the Frontier. And the official synopsis of Pioneer the Frontier is Rizza makes a risky move to squash old beef. And when it and before I give up my review, please like and subscribe and comment and tell me what I should review next. And when it comes with this episode, I thought that this was a good episode as Wu-Tang Clan continues to be formed. They're not all the way there yet, but the forming process is, has become a little bit smaller now. And old beefs were officially squashed. And here's my episode recap and my episode review. So the episode starts off with just RZA and Raekwon on a port on the way to Manhattan, Staten Island to make some music together. And RZA's idea is to bring everyone on the boat so that they can talk and officially squash any beef that they may have because of RZA's idea and plan of wanting something bigger for everyone that's a part of the Wu-Tang Clan. And when Ghostface Killer and Raekwon see each other it seems as if like some stuff is about to kick off and they both get mad at RZA because of just getting them on the boat together because of just some of the grimiest of things that they've done, such as Ghostface Killer robbing Power's parents and Raekwon shooting at Ghostface Killer's mama's house where Ghostface Killer and his little brothers were all almost put on some shirts like when you look at it they've all done some pretty disgusting things and if this was some real life issues this would be considered unforgivable and also mitchell is there as well to help rizza with his plan and as well as power and this episode focuses on one location only and that is the port from their place to manhattan staten island and this episode basically focuses on every single member of the group and with RZA still trying to just figure out what to do to get everyone on board. Um, Raekwon and Power, they talk for a little bit about why they can't trust Ghostface Killer because of he doesn't let go of things. And to make things an even more of an issue, they are all armed with weapons just in case somebody acts up. So you know that this is some serious issues. RZA on the other hand, he tries to talk to every single member that is on the boat with him to try to like get to see his vision, to try to like squash any of the old beef that they have with each other because what he sees is like an orchestra of people. What he sees is like a brotherhood of folks making music together, changing the industry alike and everything. And also in this episode, there is a seller on the port as well that, was, that is selling VHS bootleg tapes, soda, jewelry, and guns, who somewhat has like an important influence somewhat in this episode as he talks to half of the members of the group he talks to ghostface killer the most he talks to rizza briefly and mitchell mitchell briefly as well and he tries to talk to rizza about different things tries to talk about the nation and as well when it comes to him and ghostface they talk they catch up on old times um, Ghostface buys a couple of things off of him. He buys a blunt and he buys a gun after seeing that Power and Raekwon are both strapped just because of just um, anything that's potential to pop off and everything. And what I also liked about this episode was that when RZA was struggling to like figure out what to do next, the announcer of the port was somewhat encouraging RZA to like get up off his feet to like stop messing around and everything and <laughs> I thought that that was a little bit funny but at the same time I felt like that helped out RZA quite a bit. As the episode progresses Mitchell and Power 
they talk about they talk out all of their issues that they have with each other, bringing up some of the old times that happened when they were kids and they are on good terms now. And as well as just with Power and Raekwon, they are cool as well. They're cool with RZA and Mitchell. And they all just realize that it is just Ghostface that has to see the vision, the power that just has to see it and everything. And by nearly and by the end of the episode, RZA has everyone face to face together talking about his vision of what he sees with the group, talking about everything. And he tries to talk influential, like chesses and pieces and everything, and how like everyone is like an important asset to the group. And just because of that, some mess almost pops off with Raekwon and Ghostface Killer. Like, it seems as if like they, they can't stand each other. And it seems as if like somebody is about to become a shirt but after a huge argument Rizza is every Rizza is able to calm everyone down and he talks about what he wants out of everyone what he believes that everyone is capable of and just how he sees them as a part of the group and after a long talk and after everything else Rizza Mitchell Power, Raekwon, Ghostface Killer, they are they all come to an understanding about what's more important besides all of the old beefs and everything, and that's making music and changing the industry. And the episode basically ends with just a really nice portrait painting of everyone at the port looking at the infamous mountain that was seen in the last episode when RZA was painting over that Killer Hill sign. I would say some of the things that I felt like this episode did well on was that it did well on with just giving every member of the group some screen time and also just help and also just making us understand like getting like their point of view when it came to like certain things. I felt like the painting at the end of the episode was really dope and cool and as well as that violin, the guy playing the violin, playing that instrumental, as I know the song, it was a part of this second album, and then it's played at the very end of the episode as well. But like, cool episode. I also thought that it was really crazy about how they was able to shoot at one location the entire time and still make a crazy episode out of it. Some of my predictions that I have for the remaining of this season is that RZA is going to get every other member on board as well with his vision. And so officially Wu-Tang Clan is formed. But I can't wait with, with what's going to happen. So far this season has been cool in my opinion. And thank you for watching. And until next time, goodbye.